Tech Talk now. It's an exciting talks coming forward, and right now I'd like to introduce Mr. David Perry, the Executive Director of ORTOP, Oregon Robotics Tournament and Outreach Program, to talk a little bit more about the FIRST program and what it means to our community. Let's welcome David Perry. Good morning, everybody. Uh, thanks to Total Chaos for organizing this event. I'm extremely impressed. It's uh, very well put together and happy to be a part of it. Uh, also, my thanks to Puppet for hosting uh, and for, for your support of FIRST. You guys have been a long time supporter of FIRST, so uh, my thanks to you as well. Uh, so as Mega mentioned, I am the executive director of the Oregon Robotics Tournament Outreach Program. We run all of the FIRST programs throughout the state of Oregon, uh, all the way from Junior FIRST Lego League, which works with kindergartners, up through FIRST Robotics Competition at the high school level, and FIRST Lego League that's been happening here the longest since 2001, uh, and FIRST Tech Challenge that Total Chaos, uh, I would say, competes in, but you guys do more than compete. You're, uh, you're at the top of the game, so we're excited to see what you guys uh, accomplish this season. Uh, but I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time up here talking about robots. Uh, I've been uh, a technology educator here in Portland now for uh, more than a decade, and I always try to talk about technology beyond the electrical, beyond the software, beyond the, the robots and the fancy computers and things. Uh, as I was trying to work with young students at OMSI and get them to understand what technology is, we would always say it was everything. Everything that people have invented to make their lives easier. It's the, certainly the I, the uh, Apple Watch, it's certainly our smartphones and cameras, but it's also the cups you're holding and drinking out of, it's also the chairs you're sitting in, uh, the clothes on your back, and uh, my personal favorite technology, the toothbrush. The world would be a poorer place without the toothbrush. So that's one side of it, those things that we've invented. But beyond that, it's the people. And that's what I would like to talk about now. Is as we look forward to the future, how, how do we as, as people, how do the people in this room go about creating these new technologies? How do we recognize the way we're interacting with them, the way we're creating them, and what does that look like going down the road? And FIRST is a, is a perfect example of that. The, the mission of FIRST, the very thing that I wake up every morning and try to do, is find new ways to get kids excited about the world of technology. How do we open those doors to the technology careers, to the ideas that are out there, the companies that are working, how do we bring more people into it? It is far more than just a robot. So uh, I think one of the best ways to show a little bit more about FIRST is to actually give some images of the competition so you know a little bit more of what it's about. And I'll bring up a video here, one of my favorites. Technical difficulties. 